Good evening, my beautiful collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. You can ring my bell, ring my bell. Ring a ling a ling collective, what the fuck? That's how we're going to begin this reading, with the what the fuck, okay? Let's begin with me waking up this morning. And you know what song was going through my head? And I ended up listening to uh, the best of Alabama. Uh, There's an old flame burning in your eyes. And tears can drown in makeup. Can disguise that old flame might not be stronger, but it's been burning longer than any spark I might have started in your eyes. Sweet Jesus, right now, Alabama, that's a good music right there. Cut to today. Uh, this is the fifth reading that I am doing, and hopefully uh, we can get this one out, because the other four I scrapped, because it's the same type of situation showing up, okay? It's the same type of energy, but collective, I almost feel like it's... Uh, it's almost like that, collective, you a danger girl. But at the same token, it's like, it's really not. Because you know better, you should be more aware of your surroundings, your situations, who you're dealing with. Uh, some of you with the X song. Um, hopefully this message can get out and get to who it needs to get to. Because a lot of this, you should be beyond uh, making a decision like this. You know what I mean? If it's someone that you haven't dealt with, and they want to come in. It's like, don't let your guard down kind of energy. You know what I mean? Because it's like, it's a forewarning. But at the same token, it's like, you shouldn't be needing this right now. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, ass should know better. So, for a lot of you, if this is your message, you know, it's like, don't let your guard down now. Don't do anything that is counterintuitive or counterproductive to what you've been doing. Because I'm feeling that someone, it, it definitely around an ex. If it's not an ex of yours, it could be an ex of an ex or the ex that you're currently with or an ex of someone you're with. It's like a jealousy type thing, but it's like you should know better. So it almost feels like it's a test, to be quite honest with you. So we'll see if the message gets out. But it's like, um,. Yeah, it's kind of like you in danger, girl. But at the same token, they're like, not really, because you should fucking know better. You know what I mean? Uh, if that makes any fucking sense. Y'all know what I mean? Definitely feeling heavy on the ex energy, be it uh, your ex or someone you're with this ex or someone you were with this ex. It's like that ex energy. Someone just can't get over the fact that someone got over them. You know what I mean? Four fucking readings into this. So we're going to start the reading in that energy because it's more like you should know better. Okay? This is like a precautionary tale. Spirit's like, you you know this. You've navigated these waters. You know what's up. It's like, don't let your guard down. Don't put yourself in any uh, situation or predicament because you're not thinking clearly. Um... You know, that that type of energy. Like, don't piss away all the growth that you've had uh, by going against what you're, you've been doing, what you've been working on. Anything that's, that's counterproductive. Because it's, it's almost like it's going to be a test from the universe to see if you were paying attention in class. You know what I mean? Because it's really like they don't need the fucking warning. But apparently someone needs a little heads up. King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, someone's ex. Okay, someone's ex. Male or female here, it don't matter. Someone's ex ain't happy. 
Okay, they ain't happy. And there you go. Kind of this deceptive energy, vindictive energy, anything along that line. Do you know what I mean? Someone's ex ain't happy. They're not happy. Need I say more, right? Ace of Pentacles here. Hopefully this is you all uh, being proactive, getting the heads up, right? Paying attention. This is giving me full moon energy, right? Everyone knows the effects of the full moon, y'all. So keep that shit in mind. If you're going out, you know, just, just watch your environment, watch your social situations. Don't be trying to get back with anybody. If you haven't been on a speaking term with them for a while and they happen to call you up, uh, for some of you, I'd go so far as to say if you were out in public and you ran across this person and you were at the same restaurant or bar or something like that, I would just actually leave and just just remove yourself from this energy, this situation, whatever the hell it is, depending upon whoever the hell you're dealing with, okay? Now, if this ain't currently your energy, this could be someone you're dealing with, right? But that would be, it's like you know this, but a lot of this you should know right? Spirit has already exposed the snakes in your grass. You know who you're dealing with. So none of this is a surprise, okay? This is like, uh, some of y'all gonna get a gold star from Spirit if you can pass this fucking test, because it's gonna be a fucking test, okay? Um, some of you, an ex wanting to come back in, right? If you left them for somebody, and they haven't gotten over the fact you've left them for somebody. They could be trying to act really immature here. There's a lot of immaturity level, right? This is someone just jealous that they didn't get what the fuck they wanted, right? You moved on to somebody else, and there you go. 77 here, right? Just very bullshit type energy here. This is just being proactive. Being proactive. Not letting your guard down. Especially, you, you know who you're dealing with. You know the energies you're dealing with. You all know your situation is different. If this isn't directly with you, this could be dealing with uh, your person's ex. Or the ex of an ex. You know, however the fuck it goes. But for a lot of you, this is the, this is the test from the universe, okay? This is to make sure that you've learned your fucking lesson. You're not going back into this energy. Because you see this. Thank you, Spirit. You see this. The bitch over here looking over her shoulder, right? This is dealing with anyone and everyone that you've had to uh, protect yourself from. That you know what they're, what they're about, right? You know who they are. This is just staying away from that energy. Because here with this page energy showing up, these are people wanting to come in and disrupt the flow of things, right? This is you graduating. This is you getting your master's and moving up. This is you succumbing to this childish bullshit, right? Mm -mm. So it's a forewarning, but it's like you should know because you've got the love for yourself, right? Spirit has shown you what true love is and not deceptive energy. Spirit has shown you who's capable of giving you time, love, and attention and who's not. So all this beautiful stuff that Spirit wants to give you Keep moving forward in that path, in that thought process, okay? For some of you, this could be dealing with an ex-boyfriend, girlfriend wanting to come back. For some of you, this could be an ex-friend wanting to come back, family member. This is just childish energy, okay? Know who you're dealing with, okay? At this point in time, just... Err on the side of, of being cautious, okay? Just err on the side of being cautious. And definitely, you know, drive anywhere you're going. Some of y'all check your vehicles. Uh, watch, watch, just just watch wherever the hell you're going. Just be a little more proactive in, in your surroundings, what's going on, who you're with, who you're around. It's not a, it's not a scare thing. I don't want you to be scared. This is just like, you know, just be observant. Okay? Be observant. Don't get distracted texting and, and not paying attention to what's going on around you. 
Especially if you get the the inkling that someone could be trying to come into your life or situation. Especially if you just started dating somebody, you're seeing someone new. Just just pay attention. Because yeah, the world in reverse here with the Four of Swords and the Queen of Cups. This is... Um, when you've moved on, right? Because someone's done the healing here. Queen of Cups energy. King of Cups and the Queen of Cups, but the King of Cups is in reverse. So some of you, this is a masculine energy, right? Queen of Cups, you've healed from this situation. The fact you've healed and moved the fuck on could have someone in a whole nother mindset, right? They can't believe that uh, uh, you've gotten over them and you've freaking moved on. Because they want to get this world started again. They want to come back in. Someone's wanting to come back in. And is it going to be good, bad, whatever the fuck? Some of them, they just might want a booty call. This is your, you are seriously going to be tested by the universe, okay? Have you been paying attention in class? Has your ass been paying attention in class? Because you go from this moment of loss... Facing your judgment, going through whatever you had to do, that healing stage, right? You learned your lesson in love. You learned your lesson in life. Okay, and now you're happy. This is you staying in that happiness, right? This is you staying in that happiness. Look at what you've learned to receive from the universe. Look at this, these beautiful uh, gifts that's been given to you. Right? That you've learned through your trials and tribulations. This is emperor, empress type energy, right? But some of y'all, that, that person from the past is going to want to come back in. Because you've moved away from them. It's only because you've moved away from them. They're not your burden anymore. But in turn, they're, they're concerned now, right? What they couldn't give to you before, they don't want to see someone else giving it to you, right? Or if this isn't them dealing with you directly, it could be uh, the person you're seeing now. It could be someone on their side not happy that they've moved on. Whew. Just a lot of immature energy. Remember who you are. Remember what you've gone through. And for fuck's sake, just be proactive and keep your keep your guard up, okay? Just, just keep... How do you want... It's like, what the fuck? This is, you should know better. This is like getting that test from the universe to see if you were fucking paying attention in class. Okay? I just gonna tell you that. At least I pull a song. Because it's that, that Alabama song. There's an old flame burning in your eyes. The tears can't drown and make up can't disguise. That old flame might not be strong, but it's been burning longer than any spark I might have started in your eyes. Yeah, someone is not happy. Someone's moved the fuck on. Uh, when you get the choice to sit it out or dance, I hope you dance. You can go your own way in reverse. Some of God's greatest gifts are unanswered prayers, sitting on the dock of the bay, watching the tide roll away in reverse. Someone is getting impatient, okay? Sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus. O-R-G-B-F-M-L-A-W... This energy, guys and gals. It's like you know better. You know better. Don't go there. It's like a test. It's going to be a test. Spirit, what you got on this? Anything else? Anything else? The Burden, Thunderbolt, and Politics. I think the cards kind of sum it up, right? 
Use your discernment right now. You're not going back to the birds. Six and seven, right? This is like a progression. In order to move away, in order to uh, get that upgrade, right? You got to be tested. Some of you, this is going to be the test. Six to seven, that, that uh, elevation, right? You know who you're dealing with. You know the mask they hide behind, right? You know their politics, however that goes. You know you know how they think. And a lot of you know this person is a burden. Power moment. Thunderbolt. Patience in reverse. There's an old flame burning in your eyes. Courage in release. This person doesn't have the courage to come forward. So in doing so, they might try to throw a roadblock up to create burdens, right? The politics, you know, some of this, just, just petty arguments, petty shit, petty shit. Don't go there. Don't go there. Don't go there, collective. If someone isn't, it's, um, their healing process isn't going as, as well as yours might have, okay? So they're like, uh, <laughs> they're going through some shit in their healing process. So you don't know what stage they are in. So just be fucking proactive, okay? We are the world. Know your surroundings, you know, let everyone know where you're going, where you've been, and all that good stuff, right? Just be smart, be safe. Um, be a little more diligent, okay? Just be a little more diligent. It isn't a scare tactic, it isn't nothing like that. I don't see, like, imminent danger, but it's like, avoid any circumstances or situations that you're not going to just blindly walk into because you've allowed yourself to go off the beaten path. You know what I mean? Just stay proactive. Stay doing what you're doing. Anything else? Yeah, Eight of Cups in reverse. Someone can't believe you moved the fuck away from them. They can't get over it. With the Eight of Swords. Eight, eight here, right? They just can't believe you've got the fuck over them. With the Two of Swords right here. And this Knight of Wands. So this could definitely be someone wanting to come back in. But then see, I see the Five of Wands right there. Yeah, the Nine of Swords here, wanting to come out of their head, but in doing so, they, they want to, it's like they want to stir up some conflict to prevent you from moving forward. You see what I mean? This ain't a very healthy energy. Here we go with the Four of Swords again, with the Three of Swords. All this Swords energy, what we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, six Swords here, uh, uh, Knight of Wands, a five of wands and the eight of cups. This is like the moon affecting some shit. And definitely for a lot of you, dealing with a lover. Could be a king of wands type energy here. Wanting to come in and communicate. But they're going to be rather mature, immature about it. A lot of page energy here. So you know what? Ain't no time to go back to the past. Okay? Um... Because someone's definitely in their head. They're definitely going through some shit. They don't know what's up. They cry and they can't sleep. They feel trapped. They feel stuck. And if they see you moving on and doing for yourself. Because they are watching. They're watching. Just be proactive. Okay. Six of Wands energy here. That's how you combat that Knight of Wands energy. Fuck boy, fuck girl energy, right? Mm, you avoid it at all costs. Because someone cannot move the fuck away. Or get over the fact that you moved away from them. And they're going to come in. And some of y'all is going to be wanting to do a fucking booty call. Okay? They're going to want to do a booty call. Don't fall for it. Don't fucking fall for it. Do not fall for it. 
This person is very immature. They haven't healed, okay? And y'all don't care how good the sex may be. I don't care, girl. I don't care, boy. You don't be you don't revisit this. Now is not the time to revisit the past, okay? Promise me, you won't revisit the past. This is like a lesson, okay? This is to see if you've learned what the fuck you've been through. If you were paying attention in class, okay? All that spiritual growth, all that good stuff wound up, you know, in, in, in test form. Because, yes, you will get tested along the way to make sure you've learned the lessons, right? So, a lot of you, this is going to be that test. So, if you go out, don't get your ass so drunk that you can't fucking think straight, right? Maybe if you decide to go out, stick with diet, uh, diet pop or water or something along that lines. Okay, don't. This is not the time to let your inhibitions down. This is not the time to be talking to somebody that you've released yourself from. Okay, it's like don't, don't let your guard down. It's like you need the forewarning, but spirits like they really don't because this is a test. So some of y'all are getting a little, a little pre-warning that you're getting tested. Okay, so keep that in mind, collective. Peace, love, and light. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring -a -ling -a -ling. Like I said, for some of you, if this isn't your direct energy, if you've started dating somebody or seeing somebody, this could be someone related to them. But in some way, shape, or form, it's it's all going to, like, combine on your behalf. You know what I mean? There's a lesson. There's a lesson. This is how you upgrade, right? Uh, just, it's like, do what you've been, been doing, okay? Do what you've been doing. Be proactive and uh, stay in that mindset. Peace, love, and light, collective. Peace, love, and light.